An art space in a former factory on the border of Brooklyn and Queens is hosting an unusual show inspired by and made for drones. Visitors to the Knockdown Center can not only walk around the work by 10 participating artists, they can fly the remote-controlled aerial vehicles up to and through some of the pieces, viewing the installations through the camera eyes of the machines. The month-long show is called First Person View. So we got a drone a few months ago just as a way to document the space. And we started to play around with it and like thought about how the camera was interacting with the architecture in like kind of unexpected way. We thought it would be interesting to kind of think about an art show in which the human eye is not the primary uh, viewer. Visitors can pilot a drone they bring from home, or one provided by the artist or the knockdown center. They can fly the drones around works like Smoke and Mirrors by Adam Atia and Leo Gibbs, which, when finished, will combine images of happy 1950s Americana and war. It's not the technology itself that's so sinister, it's just the way in which it's used, and I think more people should be discussing how it is used in our society and why we allow certain uses. Performance artist Kara Francis also explores drones' military applications in her piece, which is called Remote. She'll ask participants to stand in front of a green screen and interact in a playful way with a drone that hovers above and asks questions. Then she'll replace the green screen with images of drone strikes and warfare. I am trying to explore, I guess, the implications of the technology that we fall in love with. As users and their drones explore the installations, flat screen TVs will display the machine's point of view and the center staff will print and display images captured by the drone's cameras. Yet another way, visitors will become part of this exhibition. 